everybody. I was getting sort of jealous watching other people receiving their Bacchus 6 mil figures and, and showing them off. And yeah, so I decided to go and find the ones I had ordered um, a year ago. Um, and they've been sitting in these bags in a box for a year waiting for some love. Um, so I, I got mine out um, just to add my my little mini 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 collection um, to the mix um, and maybe to inspire myself to um, to maybe move on with this project um, maybe I, I, I'm kind of working on a few other things that I'd like to get done first but um, even if this is like if I can work on a, a couple stands um, just to see what it's like painting these guys or figure out how to base which I'll talk about later um, but or the, you know I'll just put them back in the bags, uh, put them in the box, and they'll have to wait till their return. But we'll see. Anyway, so these are back of six mil um, figures. I got three packs. Um, I just wanted to sample um, to see what they're like. So I got um, some infantry. These are Celtic Light Infantry. Uh, or, infantry. Oh man, cavalry. Celtic Light Cavalry, as you can see, because they've got horses. Um, nice little pack of those. I've got um, Celtic infantry that are charging as opposed to marching, I think. Um, I think that's the other um, stance they have. Uh, and then I've got Marian legions. Now the reason why I got these guys was to do CNC ancients. Now that's Command and Colors Ancients, um, which is a block war game by GMT Games, but I wanted to convert it into a miniatures um, game. Still going to use the same rules, same hex board and everything. I just want to, instead of using blocks, use um, painted miniatures. Now I picked up a box of um, Caesar's Legions by War Games Factory when that came out. That was, that was quite a few years ago now. Um, and I started painting up a few of those guys and they were looking good. Um, as basic as those sculpts are, they, were, they, looked, they looked fine when they were getting painted. Um, however, I moved on from, from that. Um, and I'm still considering doing the miniatures in 28 mil, but um, it is possible that I'll do it in 6 mil or maybe 15 mil, just to, um, you know, the smaller the guys, um, the easier and cheaper it is to have a full army, really. But um, that's still something I have to decide on. Um, and that is why I got this little sampler pack and not too many guys, just to see what uh, 6 mil is like. So those are the three sets I got, and let's take a look at them up close. So the first one I've got here is the cavalry. Yes, non-infantry cavalry. Um, they look, they look really good. I am just amazed at how much detail um, these sculptors can get um, in six mil. You can see straps, you can see belts, you can see muscle and chainmail and all kinds of stuff on these, these tiny little guys. Um, again, I haven't painted up any myself, but I have seen painted um, examples and uh, people do a good job. And you know what, I, apparently it's not too much work. Um, so we'll see what happens. So there's the cavalry. Here are the Celtic light infantry. Um, these are, uh, are not light infantry, just infantry charging. Um, nice little sprue. There's three guys that are facing this way, one guy's facing that way. Um, again, cool details. Sorry about my thumb. Good details there. Belts and stuff, and you know, the shields look good. So, um, these guys do have to be trimmed off this uh, base and placed on the, uh, the stand where they go. But that's, that's easy stuff. And then, oh, I can hear my son crying in the background. Um, that's the younger one, who apparently is not having a good night so far, and it's not even midnight, so uh, that kind of sucks. Thankfully, my wife is taking care of him right now, and if she needs some help, she'll give me a call. But let's go on. Uh, so these are the Marian legions. These are the the Romans. Um, like they look great ranked up like this. I think they look really cool, and they're there in the back, and you can see the armor. You can see belts. You can see tiny little details it's, it's amazing what they can do uh, and they look good and then here is the command sprue for those guys with the banner and the, uh, the musician and then a couple other guys 
so they look really good. So, um, will I do this project in f uh, six mil? Maybe. 15 mil? Who knows? 28 mil? I don't know. Um, yeah, I just have to play around. I want to paint some guys up, see how I feel about it, and then uh, figure out basing and yeah, look at cost again as well. Um, the prettiest version is 28 mil for sure because they're they're big, they're detailed, um, they have a presence on the field. But with six mil, I could also make it a much more uh, compact and mobile um, game. That you know, I'm not saying I'm, I'm going to carry it around and play it everywhere I go, but you know, I don't have to just play it at my my place or whatever. Um, I don't have to have a, a huge six by four table for it. Um, in six mil, I could possibly get away with just a couple feet of, of table one way and a foot and a half or whatever the other way. So that's something I'm, I'm going to think about too is if I how I base these guys and um, how big the board needs to be, the hex board. So anyway, that's a project that's um, it's in the wings. It's it's been uh, it's been you know in the planning stages for a while. Um, but uh, it, it might come up to the forefront sooner or later um, after I finish a few other projects. Uh, I do like Ancients. Um, I have a history background. I took a lot of history in, in school. I, um, yeah, I kind of lived, breathed, ate history for a long time. Um, so it is my background and it would be nice to, um, to take it for a spin. I've also got the rules for uh, of um, Fields of Glory that I got off of a friend um, who's getting rid of them, so just to check those out, that might be a, um, something if I can base it in a, base these guys in a way that I can use it for both games, CNC Ancients and Fields of Glory, even better. So that's something to look into as well. But um, yeah, I guess priority for me would be CNC Ancients, just because I love the game, I love the system. Um, but we shall see. The, the, the night is young, as it were. Anyway, I'm going to go see if I can help my son uh, get back to sleep. And um, yeah, I guess look forward to um, some more 6 mil on my channel sometime sooner or later. But um, I'll post some links of some other guys that are doing 6 mil and uh, their projects are probably going to get done a lot sooner than mine. So let's watch theirs and uh, I'll stick to my other projects until they're done. Anyway, have a good one. Thanks for watching. See you later.